Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about 2023 fall fashion trends. I'm going to be talking about the ones that I'm going to be wearing versus the ones that I'm definitely not going to be wearing. If you plan to wear any of the trends on the I'm not going to be wearing list, please don't be offended to each their own. And yeah, let's get started. Let's start with the trends I will definitely not be wearing because we all love to talk shit, don't we? First on the list is Butter Yellow. I will definitely be skipping this one. Pastels don't give me fall at all. This color does nothing for my skin tone. I'm very much warm toned and it makes me look so sick whenever I try to wear yellow. Specifically pastel yellow. I can pull off mustard. I just don't see myself getting into this at all. For sure people with a darker complexion can pull it off. I don't know. It might scream leaf that's dying. So maybe in that way it's fall, but anyway. The next trend I'll be skipping is Quiet Luxury. This one to me is just rebranded basics. It just gives me 90s basics like white t-shirt, jeans, nice coats. Honestly, it, it's super boring to me. I'm not a like clean girl aesthetic type of person mostly because I look like an egg with my hair slicked back. It's easy to thrift though, so that's always good, right? It's just a bunch of basics. Skipping this one for sure. Although I will say, I mean, some of the things I wear have a quiet luxury aesthetic just because they're basics. So I guess in a roundabout way, I kind of do wear this style. I don't know. Next, let's talk about balloon hem dresses and skirts. It's an immediately no for me. I think this is a trend that's more for a runway or someone who has extremely like eclectic style. I don't know, I just don't feel like it's flattering for most people, most bodies to have a hem like that. So just no for me. Next is small sequins or fine sequins. I can't see myself wearing this at all. I just don't find it cute. I don't think I've like ever worn sequins, maybe when I was a child. Sequins just scream New Year's to me. I just can't picture wearing it casually, so skipping that one. A more controversial one for me is I'm not into metallics. Like I get it, right? It's kind of like oh, I put on this classic outfit and then I'm gonna pop a metallic shoe or metallic bag and that kind of like edges it up a little bit. It doesn't hit for me. It just might be something that I can't personally pull off. I feel like this one is going to die pretty soon. I don't think it's one that's gonna continue. I feel like it comes up every few years and then dies out and comes up every few years. So skipping this one, although I will say like obviously silver, I love silver jewelry and I actually like metal accents for decor. Like this metallic silver heart that I thrifted a while back. That's how I include myself into the trend. Let me know if you're into metallics. I'm curious. I feel like a lot of people are into this trend. And if you are, how do you like to wear it? Do you like to do like a full-on metallic dress or top or do you just like to accessories with metallics? Let me know. The last trend I don't see myself wearing are Adidas Sambas. Adidas Sambas? However the fuck you say that. I know everyone's obsessed with Sambas and like they're not ugly. I see how they're cute. I get the allure but I just see them so much now that I'm starting to hate them. That probably makes me annoying, but I don't know. Now I don't want them. I used to want the red ones really badly. Also, I have wider feet. So shoes that are very narrow, just they're not comfy for me. But are you into any sneaker right now? Well, if you're willing to share, you know, if you're not a gatekeeper. A brand that you've been liking, that's cute, but maybe not as big, not as popular at the moment. Let me know down in the comments. I would like to check them out. All right, y'all, let's move on to the trends that I'll actually be wearing, starting off with sheer. At first, I wasn't into this just because I didn't think it was very practical for me. I didn't see myself wearing a sheer piece with like my undies and bra underneath. Just my own comfort level, you know, go off if you if you wear that, more power to you. I wish I had that confidence. Anyway, lately I've been seeing it worn a little bit different with like a, a full dress underneath, a dress and top set underneath. And I feel like that would make me a little bit more comfortable. I'm currently on the hunt for a sheer piece that is more vintage inspired. So either like white lace or black lace or just like black sheer. Next trend I am absolutely obsessed with. It has many names. <laughs> I've seen it be called Dark Coquette. Gothic inspired, like romance, vampire core, whatever. Basically, it is just wearing a lot of lace and velvet, layering necklaces, specifically like pearls and pendants, and a lot of vintage. Uh, I'll show a lot of examples as I'm talking about it, but 
Anyway, I just like adore this style so much. The color palette's beautiful. Usually it's like creams, black, reds, a lot of like dark red lipstick, dark hair, dark makeup. I love this aesthetic. I think if I could pick one to really make it my whole aesthetic, I'd probably go with this one, especially in the fall. But I don't know, I don't wanna feel limited to only one aesthetic, so I won't, but. Yeah, I'll be definitely incorporating this style into my own personal style. Let me know how you feel about this aesthetic. Also, I feel like it's very Latino inspired, if you know what I mean. Very Catholic imagery and like the layered gold necklaces and um, what white girls were calling it, a little Mexican girl core on TikTok. That type of vibe, but just darker. That's what it's giving. A shape that has been in and will continue to be in is stars i think stars are just adorable star sweaters star beanies star pins star everything star ties whatever i'm into it i'm currently on the hunt for a top or sweater with just a star if not i think i'm gonna diy one just cut out some fabric sew it on top of a top and that'll be it i'm excited for this shape what do you think? Are you guys into it? The next trend I've been participating in and will continue to participate in, and that is a pop of red. I actually did a reel last year, or last fall, showcasing red as being one of the trending colors. I love red. I think it's just such a vibe when you have like an all black outfit and then like a red leather jacket or red leather boots or a red purse or even like a red lip, you know? I'm here for it. I think this is one that I will like keep wearing regardless of it being trendy or not. Red, let me know. You into it, not into it. The next trend I am very much into and that is ties. I recently actually bought a tie. It's a plaid brown one, I believe. Let me show you guys. It looks like this. Very cute, right? I cannot wait to wear this in the fall. And I like ties worn as a scarf and then just like a proper tie as well. Either one is cute. I will be wearing the shit out of this trend for work, for casual wear. I'll probably buy a green plaid one as well. I have a, a plain black one and I like to put pins on it. So yeah, very, very much excited for this trend. And honestly, like, I feel like it's a trend that will be here to stay. I don't know, I'm, or at least for me, like I'll continue to wear this trend regardless. I'm actually kicking myself in the ass for not starting to wear this trend sooner. I think it's adorable. The next trend I am obsessed with are pinstripes and just stripes in general. I know a lot of you might be like, stripes, those are classic, what are you talking about? But I feel like they're way more trendy right now and every size, so thin stripes, thick stripes, stripes on beanies, stripes on top, stripes, on everything. I am super duper excited for this trend. I recently thrifted some pinstripe pants, a pinstripe two-piece suit for work and for all the time. We'll put an outfit up here that I'm trying to recreate. Like I love the look of wearing a striped long sleeve under a tee. Such a vibe. Reminds me of Kurt Cobain. That's always a good thing. The next trend is more half and half for me, I will say. I'm still sitting with the idea and that is moto boots. I think they look so freaking cute, like ugh, with dresses, with skirts, with like everything really. But I feel like it's one that I like because I keep seeing. I don't know if I'd actually wear them if I bought them. I think I'm gonna give it a couple more months and if uh, the urge is still there, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a pair. I'm really obsessed with the Steve Madden ones, so we'll see, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think it's just like a micro trend? Do you think that it'll pass and people will be over it quickly? I don't know, let me know. I'm kinda getting bored of like the usual combat boots and knee high boots, so we will see. I will admit that this last trend is more of a micro trend and that is like the old school 2000s smaller frame glasses and I'm such a trendy bitch that I actually just ordered a pair and I'll show you guys. But I'm wearing mine in a Lorelai Gilmore way, not in a Bella Hadid way. First, I will not lie, I was like, ew, what the fuck? Like, these are not cute. Those glasses were seen as like the nerdy, lame glasses before you had taste and style and you just kind of went with your parents and chose whatever was available at the time and it was those like small rim glasses. You know what, if it's a fleeting trend, oh well. I think we're allowed to have a little bit of fun. And if I get over them and don't like them anymore, I'll just keep them until they come back and style all over again in what six months because that's how fast the fashion cycle goes nowadays but anyway for a little surprise i have some predictions and i could be wrong and that's okay but 
You know how the 2010s are coming back in fashion, so what if the Lace of Oxfords are coming back in style? And I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll put some pictures here. Those are just like the ones that the Twee kids used to wear. They're the narrow sort of Oxfords, not like the chunky Oxfords we wear nowadays. And also in that same realm, the ones that like our boots of the same style, I think those might come back as well. Just because we've been having a narrow shoe resurgence. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if moccasins came back in? I don't know, I think those might be low-key problematic so i don't know about that one just a theory you know what you think do you think i'm right do you think i'm delusional probably anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little video you know what trends you're looking forward to wearing and which ones you're just like yuck i'm not gonna be wearing that i want to have a fun conversation in the comments if you like this video please subscribe and i will see you on my next video Bye bye